wanted to talk to you a little bit about Parkinson's disease and peripheral neuropathy. And the question I've seen many, many times over is, are they connected or did Parkinson's cause the numbness and tingling that I'm experiencing in my hands and feet? And the short answer is yes. Peripheral neuropathy is directly, re uh, directly related to Parkinson's disease in many, many cases. Um, peripheral neuropathy can manifest itself as the result of things like diabetes mellitus where uh, due to nerve damage from diabetes you can get peripheral neuropathy in the hands and the feet but Parkinson's disease can in and of itself result in peripheral neuropathy and the scope of this video is to discuss how and why that may happen. Um, the short answer of why it happens in Parkinson's disease is that B6 and vitamin B6 and B12 deficiencies have been directly correlated and and uh, related to be causal in um, peripheral neuropathy in Parkinson's disease. Um, so just a short lesson in why B6 and B12 are important. Uh, vitamins B6 and B12 each in, separately and together help to basically regulate healthy nerve function. Um, and B12 in particular helps with brain nerve function. But any neural tissue in the body, essentially, vitamin B6 and B12 are excuse me, directly involved in the health of that function. Another vitamin B is vitamin B9 or folate. And that's also, a, a, that is a particularly important vitamin B in the body because folate helps to, uh, basically helps the nerves to maintain healthy sheets because it helps to produce the uh, the material called myelin. So myelin is essentially an insulator. So it keeps nerve signals efficient um, and you know keeps nerve signals or the electricity in the nerve cells from escaping. So essentially you get nice smooth uh, action potentials conducting through the nerves, uh, the axons and the neuron uh, from the neuron through the axon um, to its endpoint. So as a matter of fact, uh, one of the Parkinson's disease is not a demyelinating disease, but another disease associated with movement disorders is multiple sclerosis, and the direct disease process is, involves myelin sheath degradation. So, um, that being said, we're not talking about MS, but uh, just to show how important folate is for nerve function, you can imagine um, how much important B12 and B6 are. The details of exactly how they help with nerve function are not so important uh, as, so much as to know that they are directly involved in directly involved in nerve function and health of the nerve cells. And if there is a deficiency, you're not going to have as good of nerve health or nerve function. So that's where you can get the numbness and tingling and uh, often painful neuropathy in the hands and feet and how it can be directly linked with Parkinson's disease. It also begs the question, though, why in Parkinson's disease is there a B6, B12, uh, or both deficiency? And um, in my case, the answer is the short answer is I don't know. But making an educated guess, I would say that the cause could be related to, uh, as they've shown, a lot of links between gut health and Parkinson's disease. The gut and the brain are directly linked, um, not only through nerves, um, you know, central nerves of the nervous system but um, also linked through absorption. So um, our nutrients, vitamins, minerals, and uh, food, uh, all kind of nutrients that the body needs, everything that we ingest is absorbed through the gut. So uh, that brain and gut connection is very important. And if gut health is affected, um, there has been a correlation between poor gut health um, and Parkinson's disease, whether that's uh, you know, issues with the flora of the bacteria, or the normal flora, excuse me, the bacteria that live in our gut, um, deficiencies there or um, inefficiencies there. Um, so I, I would guess that vitamin B6 and B12 absorption is affected somehow in the gut, at the gut level, and that could be why there's a deficiency. I'm not sure why that would be related to Parkinson's directly, but it definitely is, um, at least associated with it. So there you go. There you have it. That's um, short, down and dirty on B, uh, peripheral neuropathy specifically 
as it relates to Parkinson's disease and the cause, causation and factors that are involved. So I hope that was helpful to, to you all to kind of understand that link. And uh, so from this point on, I hope that you'll be able to um, somewhat answer that question for somebody um, that you know or may know that asks the question, can Parkinson's result in peripheral neuropathy? The answer is yes. So, um, as I said before, I'm a doctor of physical therapy. My name is Michael Heil, and I really appreciate everybody watching this video. Please, if you like this video, please be sure to give us a like, share the video with as many people as you can, and comment below. I really wanna hear your comments and to know what else you'd like to know about and learn about as it pertains to Parkinson's disease or well, really any therapy related topic I can answer, uh, I can speak to, I'd love to, to help in any way I can. So I appreciate the feedback, especially the likes and the comments that really helps more people to see this video. I'll catch you on the next one. As always, be empowered.